Level 14, the old max, and probably the highest level I'll ever get my cards in the free-to-play series. And so I think a better end to this series would be to get all my cards to level 14, however long that's gonna take. And today, we're gonna get our first, and it's gonna be the guards, because look, I just got enough to upgrade it from level 12 to level 13. Oh my god! And now you're thinking, Saxon, you're 199 guards away, what are you gonna do? Well, I just so happen to have this book of epics, which I am gonna put into the guards, and now we can... Now, we can upgrade our very first card to level 14. Holy hype! And yes, I'm now poor as But we get a level up chest, so this is gonna refill everything. Oh, and hey, we get to upgrade our tower princess. And we can upgrade the firecracker to level 11. Wow, what a brilliant start. Anyway, let's hop straight into a game because I have some stuff to talk about. I have a story time for you guys. So firstly, you might notice, Saxon, you seem extremely happy today. There's nothing in this life that could be so pleasant that you'd be as happy as you are. But I am, right? And so the reason you're dead wrong is because I have this magical elixir called coffee. Did I even put that in the screen? Um, coffee. Brilliant. I know so many people who just don't, who like refuse to drink coffee because it's like bitter or something. Like, come on. You have a serious case of needing to grow the fuck up. Like, seriously? You can... Your taste buds are so childish. It's the same type of people that can't eat like dark chocolate because, oh, it's too bitter. Like, come on. Grow up, all right? I'm not being serious, by the way. Just so you guys are aware. But you know what? No, I am being serious. Grow the fuck up. But anyway, this magical elixir wakes you up and makes you feel great. Level 14 guards, by the way, first time using them. They're now going to be used on offense. And just watch this. Oh my god, it's going to destroy that wizard. Oh my god, level 14 guards. Woo! <clears throat> anyway, we're going to play the log here. That should kill that uh, wizard. And then... Firecracker stays alive because we got the upgrade to level four, uh, to level 11, I mean, not level 14. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Here, it's going to get onto the tower and I will win the game. Eric has been destroyed. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but the goal is to get up to the next arena in this episode. We will be doing just that whilst telling this brilliant story time. So, so on the topic of coffee, there was one guy in school and I'm sure every school must have had... A, this kind of guy or something similar but there was this guy that always seemed to wear a suit when there was no need to wear a suit um, he always seemed to wear a suit and held a briefcase into school just so you guys are aware i went to school in thailand and in thailand it is about 40 degrees celsius all year round for you americans out there i'm pretty sure that's like above 100 degrees fahrenheit all year round and you're outdoors all the time right so the fact that this guy was able to wear like a three-piece suit every single day to school was kind of impressive but of course with people like this uh, and i'm not judging this guy by the way i like this guy he's a g right i actually i'm being serious here but this guy would wear this suit to school and of course he then just had to be into coffee and into wine tasting right so he was the type of guy who's like oh yes the rose and the lavender in the coffee yes fantastic i love that now I've never been much of a someone with expensive tastes. You know, I like a few things here and there. Oysters, love them. Good ribeye steak, love it. But when it comes to things like coffee, give me the shit that you scrape off the bottom of the barrel and I'll drink it, all right? It's my love potion. Any coffee works. As long as it's in the morning and as long as I want one, then I will enjoy it. So let's just play the Tesla here real quick. Level 12 balloon against level 9 Tesla. He's also got the giant. This is this guy's going crazy. Um, we don't have the guard to take down the giant, but it should be fine. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, what are you doing, bro? Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Tombstone the bridge, new secret tactic apparently. But yeah, this guy, he saw that I was one of the avid coffee drinkers. And so he was asking me questions about my coffee. And I was thinking like, shit, you know, I don't really understand what he's saying. Like, oh yeah, do, does your coffee have like banana notes or some shit like that? I'm like, I don't know, bro. Um, but of course, you have to act like you understand, right? And so I did. And I never really believed that these people uh, can actually, like, I understand that you can taste different things in the coffee and stuff, but how do you know what's good and bad, right? Surely it's just up to personal preference. Just because something's more expensive doesn't mean it's better or worse. And so I always had this instant coffee that was super cheap, and I like to sip on my coffee like throughout the day. And so I used to bring in this massive water bottle, put in a couple teaspoons of this um, instant coffee into the into this water bottle and it would be dilute as shit. It would almost be like drinking water that just happened to be brown, right? Mysterious brown fluids. 
floating around in this bottle. Wait, let's just play the log here. And then we can play the level 14 guards. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to stop that at some point. This video. I uh, can't keep that up forever. What are you doing? Stop doing that. And so I decided it would be wise to just test this guy out. Does he really know his shit? Or uh, is he just a fraud? <laughs> and so he asked me what coffee I'm drinking for that day. I tell him it's just some amazing stuff that my dad gets. And I tell him my dad is super into coffee and he's the one that buys the stuff. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but you know what? I just try the shit that he gives me and I just like it. Right, uh, which to a certain extent is true, but my dad also sometimes drinks instant coffee. So I wasn't lying there. And so this guy begs me for a taste of my coffee. And so I go and get like one of the paper cups from the water dispensers at school. And I pour my brown, my mysterious brown liquid. And by the way, this is still coffee. I did not shit into a bottle and give him the shit. That's not where this story is going, believe it or not. Wait, let's just acknowledge that we just destroyed this guy and he had a level 12 balloon against a level nine Tesla. And so I hand over this cup to this boy and he just, you know, does the thing swirls it around or something like that i don't i don't really know what he's doing but he's doing something and it's taking him a while and he drinks some tastes it and yet like i said this is the cheapest instant coffee you can get in the country <laughs> and um he loves it that's basically uh, what ended up happening he just loved it he just well oh god on the tower two hits oh my god that's crazy that is actually crazy give me a second here I played one guard in the right lane, and it got on the tower, and it got two hits. All right, that's like 200 damage from a guard. That's pretty OP. I'm pretty happy that this is one of the cards that we managed to get upgraded. It's gonna do so much work when they play like giants and things like that, uh, especially RG. So either this guy just had no idea what the fuck he was talking about, he was a fraud, and he was caught out by Saxon's secret tactics, or he just wanted me to like him slash like didn't want to be a dick and say that my coffee was shit which is probably more likely let's be honest here like he probably knew what he was talking about you don't wear a suit as your personality if you don't know what you're talking about all right and like i said this guy i do like him a lot he's a he's a g so i'm not here to make fun of him i'm just here to spread the facts all right so whatever you thought actually happened what his reasoning was for saying it was great you let me know in the comments all right? i'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say the guards take out the bomber since when did guards counter bomber now the next step for this deck which is probably going to be impossible i'd love to have the evo firecracker not gonna lie but the evo valkyrie is honestly pretty nice because it's Im amazing defensively it's it's insane like i don't even know what else to call it i did have something else to talk about so by the time this video is posted, I will- Oh my god, dude, relax. Relax, alright? Jesus Christ. Um, by the time this video is posted, I will have a post out on Instagram. And I just want to say, link in the description, I just wanted to say that this post, the first picture on this post, is gonna be possibly the coldest photo you have ever seen in your entire life, ever of all time in this whole wide world, right? So I want you guys to go down there, go ahead, follow me on Instagram, and comment something under this cold ass pic. No spoilers, but it's gonna be good. That's all I can really say. Are we gonna take the tower? No, we're not. Hey, and we get some gold. That's nice. Oh yeah, also, we have this chest. So let's open that with- wait, let me just make sure, because I've done this so many times and people get triggered at me. Do I have anything that's maxed out? So let's key this bad boy up. 21,000 gold. Okay, that's a dub in the chat right now. Everyone spam W- oh, I'm kidding, don't. Don't spam my comment sections, please. And hey, that's pretty good, all right? That means we can put it into the log. But for those of you who are feeling inspired by this video to start drinking coffee, or at least drinking it more often, firstly, word of advice, don't get addicted. Not a good thing, not a good sight. I used to be addicted to coffee, and it is not a great thing. So I would say, limit it to two or maximum three if you've been drinking for a while, cups in the morning and don't drink it after 12 p.m. Maybe if you sleep later, you know, I, I sleep at like 11 to midnight kind of time. So it makes sense for me, whatever your sleep time is, just like shift it along, but just don't be dumb. <laughs> don't be stupid. It's not something to mess around with too much because it can be addictive. But since when has something that's been addictive not been amazing? Am I right? That is a joke. Please kids, don't get addicted to drugs. Don't do that stuff. I don't want to be responsible. That's all I really care about is being responsible. My public image, like you guys can get addicted to whatever you want as long as it's not my fault. And as long as people don't blame me. And as long as it doesn't prevent me from getting to my nine mil subs, then I don't really care. Anyway, this guy's going aggressive with his P.E.K.K.A to bridge. We can just go for the level 14 guards. Okay. Let's stop with the level 14 guards around the um, the E was there, and oh my god, that is dirty. 
what the fuck? That almost took his whole tower. I know I did say at the start of the episode that uh, the, you know, maxing out my deck could be the end of the series. But where do you guys think the series should end? I know some people have said when you hit 9k subs, I'm oh, sorry, not 9k subs, when you hit 9k trophies. Bro, I haven't even hit that on my main account. All right, that seems a little bit too far in the future. Series, as great as they are, as much as people love this free-to-play series, there needs to be an ending. Like, it can't just go on forever. It's good to keep things moving, to keep things nice and fresh, and to do that, you need to have an ending that is sooner rather than later, is what I'm trying to say. And so, give me something realistic. Realistically, though, <laughs> if I'm just being realistic here, I'm probably not going to listen to you anyway and have my own idea of where I want this to end. But it would be good to get some suggestions regardless. Anyway, I thought for the rest of the episode, I would, whilst trying to get up to the uh, new arena, I would just do a little bit of a Q&A because I have gotten a bunch of questions in the Discord that I haven't been answering recently. And so let's just go through some of those and answer them and hopefully you guys like it. Nice. But either way, the Valkyr is gonna do some damage to the tower and the hog, even if it doesn't get on, which it does. Yeah, okay. I don't, even, I don't know where that commentary was going. We win, right? Against Franco from Manaus, which means lemon in Thai. Oh yes, first question. Someone was asking me, Hey Saxon, can you even speak Thai? Like it was a taunt. I am from the country. Yes, I can speak the language. Hey, thank you. Let me send an email. That seems appropriate. Now, am I the absolute greatest at speaking this language? No, not quite. But I'm decent, all right? I'm decent. Now, in case you're wondering why I haven't answered the questions, it's because in the Q&A section of my Discord, which by the way, join up. The first question I got was, I got put in, this is not even a fucking question. I got put into a coma because we didn't see you jiggle. The- whoa! Level 14 guard saved me here. Nice. This video is just amazing. Day 3 of asking when you are oiling up nice content, by the way. That's the other type of stuff I get. And so, it's time to answer some real questions, right? Someone did ask- I thought this was a good question. At Saxon, is your girlfriend being supportive with your YouTube stuff? And also, when will you oil up Ken did it too? That's why he has 400k up. So, I take that back. The first part of the question is a good question, but to answer that, uh, why is he going for the goblin barrel wide, by the way? Like, I have a Valkyrie, bro. I just did it to your first barrel. Learn from your mistakes. All right, we're going to go for a hog in the opposite lane. I just feel like doing it. I don't think the bomb tower is going to pull it. And so, um, rip, my man. <laughs> You've just lost. Good game. Yes, my girlfriend is very supportive of all this YouTube shenanigans. Uh, not like she has much choice, because I would, like, regardless of if she wanted me to do it or not, I'd still be doing it anyway, uh, which is probably how you guys should be, to be honest. If you want to have a girlfriend, then, like, have a backbone and don't just simp for everything she wants you to do. But regardless, I'm very lucky, and I did get a girlfriend who likes me doing all this stuff. And so, word of advice, don't simp. But that doesn't mean be a dick either, all right? Let me just clarify, don't be a dick, but also don't simp. There you go. If if they have a valid reason for not wanting you to do something- No, stop! Um, okay, Evo Valk's saving me there. You know what, I'm not gonna clarify, I'm just gonna leave that there. He's gone for it wide again, stop! Stop doing it, it's triggering me. Honestly, I thought I had way more questions in the Discord, but every question is- at Saxon, how much money to suck a toe? I literally gave this guy like 20 seconds of me not playing and he couldn't even take my tower. Good game. Actually, this is a this is a predicament that I'm in because I'm gonna keep getting wild cards for the epics, but I don't have any more epics in the deck. Is there anything I could put in instead here? Okay, epics, epics, epics. Anything that I wanna upgrade. Of course, the freeze is always an option. Hog poison is also actually a decent deck. Maybe we'll start upgrading the poison here. Yeah, let's do that. Just in case I can't get my uh, earthquake to max, then we will be upgrading the poison. I think I can make it work. At Saxon, are you a yogurt male? Are you a smart fella or a fart smeller? Should I write a fanfic about you? Do you prefer basketball or anal annihilation? Is this is this really what I deserve, guys? Uh, months dedicated to making content. <laughs> These are the types of questions I get when I ask for a Q&A. How many penis for penis? Is it small? Please give me s when do you train glutes? What? You don't need to know that. Okay, first good question. How many days and how long do you spend in the gym each day? I know a lot of people are very interested in my gym routine. I'm not too sure why, because it's not like I'm the most built person ever in the world, but I'm happy to provide you with some information. So, I go to the gym. It's kind of random, but it's two days in a row and then one day off usually. I never do more than two days in a row and I never take more than one to two days off. 
but sometimes I'll go for one day and then I won't go for another day. And usually I spend like 45 minutes in the gym, right? It's pretty chill. It's not too insane. I'm not trying to like, I mean, I like to push hard. That sounds, no. I like to go hard. Don't like that either. Well, how do you say it? I like to work out intense. There we go. I like to work out intense, but for short bouts, I don't want to go too crazy with it. It's about being consistent more than anything. So if there's one word of advice I can give for that, then, uh, it's it's that basically we're gonna go for the ice spirit here the e is gonna one shot it because that's nice and fun and fair and then we're gonna go for a valkyrie on this witch and then we push in with the hog valk and win game because i just highly doubt he's gonna be able to defend this he went way too aggressive he's got mega knight okay well level 11 mega knight versus level 14 guards is gonna be commencing anytime now the hog should take the tower there okay i'm gonna play a five no stop bro i want the battle i want the battle between the mega knight and the guards to be alone right so we're gonna try and do as little damage to this mega knight as we can and now we can go for the guards i mean that wasn't really a fair fight but either way they would have destroyed it all right trust me what we can do now is because he's only got the ewiz and the um the witch in cycle i'm pretty sure we can go for the evo valk with the hog and there's just nothing he can do there's literally nothing he can do. Anything he plays is just gonna get sucked in and destroyed. Yeah, bro, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why are you doing this? He would have been better off just leaving the hog probably and then going for a push of his own. But either way, I can't control everything. I do miss that goblin bar- I mean, the, uh, the log on the barrel there. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the princess, bro. We're gonna take that left side tower. Yep. This is, this is sad. Okay, any more serious questions? Do it jiggle. I mean, one of the questions in the Q&A is, can Saxon do another Q&A video? I'm trying, okay? I'm really trying here. We get an, uh, whatever this is called, giant chess. Get fuck all, that's great, I love that. Let's hop into another game. Messi or Ronaldo, let's not answer that, just because that is probably the most controversial thing I could ever say. Are you the gay dude on the double date with Ken? Uh, I don't think so but I could be wrong there. Describe your perfect- no, not doing all that. Um, wait, let me play the guards here. Like, having level 14 guard- oh no, shit. Well, if I had known he had the prince, I probably wouldn't have played those guards there. But, what we can do is just die, like just lose the game. That would be a great thing to do, wouldn't it? Uh, the guards are gonna do more damage than the prince will, so that's fun. We take his old tower from a set of guards. If this isn't your calling to upgrade your guards right now, then I don't know what will be. Oh, someone said, will you do a stream where you 1v1 viewers? Now that the, um, now that the push to ultimate champion has kind of slowed down, as in, I'm there. I'm officially an ultimate champion. Go ahead and watch that video, by the way, if you haven't already. Uh, it's a long one, but it's worth it. I'm probably not gonna have time in the next couple days, but like, after that, I'll have some time to start maybe attempting a stream here and there. I don't know, it's a bit nerve-wracking because it's something I've never tried before, but if you never try, you'll never know. Uh, no promises that anything's gonna happen, alright? But yes, in case you're curious, I am thinking about it at the very least. We're gonna let that connect. We're one game away! And we're up in the new arena. Do you let it crust or wipe? That is disgusting. Obviously, I don't wipe. Come on. Now, let's open the lucky drop. You know what? I'm feeling it today. It's gonna be an epic. Oh my god, that was pretty close. Hey, more gold? I'll take it. Honestly, I think the biggest struggle here in free-to-play is getting gold. Like, it's way harder than you'd expect. When are we gonna get a log reveal? How many elixir is your log? Do you eat ass? Why does that have three reactions to it? Surely I have more questions than this. I forgot I had YouTube comments, so now I'm looking at some of the questions on here, and they're actually good questions. So, now that we're on the topic of love, for some reason, it went from coffee to love so someone said how do i tell my crush how i really feel and my word of advice on that is don't right and this is not to say like be a pussy and like never tell them how you feel but you probably don't want to do what they do in the movies where you're like i sarah i have to confess to you that i'm in love with you and then expect them to be like oh my god i love you too because chances are it's not gonna happen chances are she's gonna be like what the fuck you are kind of creepy because why have you been like why are you just emotionally unloading onto me so i would say oh wait this is actually a juicy earthquake opportunity earthquake opportunity is the name of my new business by the way in case you weren't aware i'm gonna play the firecracker here as well that is a scary sight remember the old fire spirits they used to spawn like three or four at the same time it's crazy don't confess your feelings to your crush Probably just try to like get to know her like you would if she was anyone else But just know that you like her more than you like other people, right? So try and get to know her try and go on dates and stuff, but you don't have to be like I love you and I've been loving you and I've been staring at pictures of you 
every night before I go to bed and don't do all that. <laughs> don't do all that. That's a surefire way for her to be like, uh, yeah, no thanks. See you later, alligator. So no emotional dumping, please. Try and find out what she's interested in. Try and find out, you know, what you guys have in common. And then try and just be chill and cool about it and go on dates like a normal human being. Uh, and then hopefully she ends up liking you back because you have an amazing personality or your face looks great. Uh, we will go for the earthquake here again. I didn't realize I somehow got a bunch of damage on that right lane, but sure, we'll take that. Why, why are you doing this, bro? Why are you doing this? Surely this can't be the last game before I go up in the new arena. Not the most clever squid in town, but oh well. I guess that's how this episode's gonna end. But it's been a fantastic episode. I've really enjoyed reading all your questions. Yeah, I hope you learned a thing or two. All right, let's just see if there's one last quick question here. Okay, CEO of Isaac says, do you like miners? Okay, we're gonna end it here. Click there if you wanna watch another video. Right, right there. Like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe. Maybe comment some questions and some actual questions. That might be nice. Impossible challenge for you guys. Comment a question that is actually like an answerable question. <laughs> That'd be great.